this quarter was looking at me kind of funny, so I decided to short Who's Boss with some concentrated nitric acid. Almost immediately, the solution turns green from the formation of a mixture of copper to nitrate and nickel to nitrate. The brown vapors are nitrogen dioxide, and this is a very good point to remind you of the dangers of this experiment. Nitric acid is a strong acid and also a strong oxidizer, not very pleasant to get on your skin, so wear proper protective equipment. As a general rule, any visible gas is poisonous and nitrogen dioxide is no exception. For that reason, this was done under a fume hood. Also, you should have sodium bicarbonate or another base immediately on hand to neutralize the reaction if it gets out of control. I decided to briefly cover the top of the beaker to let the nitrogen dioxide accumulate and show you just how dark the vapors are. As the reaction slowed down, it turned a much deeper blue. Eventually, the coin rose to the surface, and the reaction rate increased again, after which the coin broke up. Once the reaction stopped, I decided the quarter, or what was left of it anyway, needed more torture, so I decided to add aqueous ammonia to form mainly tetraamine copper 2 nitrate, a copper ammonia complex. Keep in mind that quarters are over 90% copper, which is why the copper products are dominant. Even before the liquids mix, you see solid ammonium nitrate forming from the fumes of the nitric acid and ammonia. The actual reaction was very violent and exothermic, causing blue liquid to splash out of the container, so I added the ammonia very slowly. The turquoise precipitate you see forming is copper 2 hydroxide, which then reacts with ammonia to form the dark blue copper ammonia complex. Stirring gets rid of any remaining copper hydroxide. You end up with a beautiful deep blue solution. And that's all that's left of the quarter. Moral of the story, if you are any form of currency, do not mess with a chemist.